Uh, hi, Eric. Hello. Wait till I tell you this again, Eric. And then I'll tell you I'll tell you about what happened this time. To the fruits for the fruits. Hey Stephanie, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> this, these uh, monthly fruit things that we get. What is it? Ooh, what is that? Those are plums? Are from Kelly R. From oh Kelly R. And what, Eli, what? I'm sorry. What? Eric, we just got it back up what? again. What time is it? This is a plum. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Makes my mouth water. Thank you, Kelly R. If you're on, Eric, you want to try one of these fruit? They're tart. They're plum. It is. No, it's a plum. Yeah, it's a plum. It's a plum. Bay Is that a real plum? Yeah. Right. So and then what we've got a couple like? pieces of meal. Like what? <laughs> Never mind. Remember, we're G-rated, guys. She can private message me. <laughs> okay, we gotta go and get. Her. Okay. Yeah. Good night. Bye, Kettle. See you later, Kettle. Thank you. Thank you for the plum. Where's your cup? Cursor. Cursor, honey, where's your cup? 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 I get confused where I'm supposed to be looking. Um, yeah, those they're really, really, really good, good, great, or good uh, plums. This says to Jackie volunteers and moderators, and our moderators on right now is Bantry, Bubbles, Dawn, Dawn Star, Gemini, Tommy, Janak, Napa, Titans, <laughs> and Eric is here. So we got just about a whole bunch of the crew here on. So, this is from Bonita. Oh, yes. oh, wait, wait, can I do, can we still have somebody write these down so I don't have to try to remember this? Because I won't be able to. Is a uh, Critter Cat on? Is Nuki? Come on, somebody. Nuki, okay. So Nuki, can you write down Kelly R? That's little one, little one mine. Uh, did the monthly um, fruit. And <laughs> wildfire. That's funny. CJ, you have to be sprinkled with moderator dust. I like that. And this is from Bonita. S Bonita S and heard. And Bonita Nuki is spelled V A U N. I T A and, and it's got a thanks for taking care of us from all the FFRC kitties. Isn't that cute? Kitty. And we've got a note here and uh Nuki if you could put that there's a donation for the storage uh, for the storage closet or storage room. <laughs> and we've got something here from her. Oh boy, she's got kitties. I see what her herd is. It says, Dear Mama Jackie and all the volunteers and moderators, Sheriff Potter won't let us turn on the computer at night. And Twinkle says, We don't know how to spell anyway. So we hired a catetary to send a note for us. Hey man, I'm telling you, these cats are getting smarter all the time. We want to thank you for the warm beds and food and all the loving that we get at the FFRC. Everyone is so nice to us. This is the best home in the world, so we don't mind if we live here for a short time or forever. And then in parentheses, Badu hopes we're here a short time, but we know she's really a softie under all that hissing. Please keep those bonito flakes and poofy beds coming. Queen Bella always claims the best one for herself, which is very true. But we'll climb in with her or find one of our own. And as long as Octavia shares her stolen treats with us, we're happy. Please take care of yourself and all the volunteers so you can keep loving us for a long, long time. We love you all right back. Sincerely, all the kitties at FFRC. 
P.S. We promised the cat a Terry that if she sent this note for us and a donation, that we'd let her love us too if she comes to visit this summer. She lives in Erie, Pennsylvania, so that's not too far away, and sent by the Cataterys of, um, of uh, I think it's on Vaughn's herd of cats that she says. And here's your, oh my goodness, these are cute looking babies. What is there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're almost as many as I have, Vaughn. Those are nice looking kitties. Boy, that black and white poopy one is really cute. Very cute. Thank you, Vaughn. And kitties. Thank you, Vaughn's herds. You know I save all these letters. I love them. Now I gotta, I usually don't sit like this, but tonight calls for a sitting job. Thank you, Vaughn. And she and that, her, she and the kitties are from Pennsylvania. And then we have another one here from Barb. Barbara C. Barbara C. from Georgia. You know, sometimes when our cam goes down through the internet, it keeps on looks like it's working here. So if it goes down, somebody just pop up there, cam is down, because on our end it looks like it's okay. Um, this is from Barb C. from Georgia for my friends. Boy, this is really being lazy. I'm just sitting here. And Nuki, our cat of Terry, if you could put that there's a donation. And this says, my life is so much sweeter with you in it. You meaning FFRC and everyone and volunteers. Sorry the card is late, but I think every day should be a day to show love. Thanks for all you do. Barb C, a.k.a. Oh, her cam name is L-A-E-O. Leo, I've seen you on here. You can use the gift for supplies or anything the kitties need. Thank you very, very much, Barb. I appreciate that. And Barb is from Georgia. Georgia. And we're still putting our cards up. Oh, that came with that one. And this is from Mary B. Clear from California. I think this envelope went through the mill and back. And what have we got? This is from Mary B. Oh, we've got the coupons. Cool. Miscellaneous and cat and dog. Mary, thank you, thank you. You know, it won't be that much longer until our friend Diane comes. You know, she's our volunteer, but she's also in California right now. And she's the one that's going to organize all these. So I've been just putting all the envelopes into one container over here. And when she gets back, we'll be organizing those. So it makes it easy for the rescue center to use. And um, the volunteers then will get some choices on that also. We're going to share all the ones that we don't use with them because we want to make sure that they do get used. And this is also from Mary. So she sent she sent two containers of these. Yeah, look at this. And these oh these are um these are all miscellaneous ones. Yeah. Yeah, so so anybody out there if you want to send us coupons we will uh, use them either for the rescue center or for the volunteers. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate you doing that. So those are our coupons. Those are our cards. And that was our cards and the two donations. And this one is from Kathy P. from Washington. Kathy P. from Washington. Isn't he wonderful? They're such a good kitty. Oh, this is for my mama for her birthday. Not sure what that is here, but it sure looks interesting. Oh, Kathy, thank you. Kathy P. Let's see what this is. 
uh, here we got a picture here I have to share with you. As you can see, it's a little dark there, but it's an orange kitty. And Kathy, I'll read your card all the way inside when I go in. It says, not the best picture in the world, but that was my big orange kitty Tigger exploring the aftermath of Christmas. When he stretched out, he was over a yard long. That's a big kitty. When it was dinner time, he'd stretch up the cupboard, and you'd see a couple big paws on the counter next to you. I miss him a lot, and I hope someday soon I can afford to have another one. You and your rescue center are, are all amazing, and you have wonderful volunteers to help make it possible. You help me get my kitty fix every day, and for that I am very grateful. I can hardly wait for kitten season. <laughs> uh, thank you again, and keep up the good work. Kathy P. And uh, Kathy, thank you very, very much. And I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you get to get a kitty soon. It would be hard to be without one. And I'm glad that you found our kitties to share. You know, I get, there's probably not a day that I, that goes by that uh, somebody doesn't say on my, inner, or my email that they can't have a cat right now for whatever reasons, but that they get their kitty fixed through the rescue center. And I always, I always am glad that we're able to do that for people. Oh, this is really cool. Look at that. That took a huge amount of work. Do you see the, the kitty in the hand there, the logo? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Thank you very much. That was a lot of work. A whole lot of work. Thank you. I'm going to put this up on our on our door over here. All right. And Eric tells me we've got this here too. Now, oh, whoops. <laughs> that kitty can see through anything. Oh, this is from this is from Kiwi. Mm -hmm. This is a card uh, from Kiwi for my dad. Um, I'm Kiwi. I hope you don't mind if I open this inside. I've not seen this um, willow tree before. This is really pretty. Kiwi, if you're on, I thank you for that. That that this will be a really awesome one to add to my collection. I've not had that one. So a real special one with a dad and a, and girls. Uh thank you, Kiwi. I I like that. Um so I had some things in my mind, <laughs> but with all the internet problems. So what happened tonight? Well, we could go tonight, just in case you didn't know. We had the exact same trouble that we were having tonight. And um, so last week, they kind of made me feel or led me to think that that was very strange and something that was not very common for two different people or organizations to be on the same IP number. So they got it fixed and last week we were hooked up to the same IP as a local uh, lawyer's office. So tonight when I called then, uh, they, since I was able to give them that history right out, they immediately checked that and so it didn't take as long as what it did last time. But this time we were hooked up to the same IP number as a local church. And so um, they've done some extra different things to ours. Um, he said something about we have six different numbers, or ours, we have six different things coming in that lead into one wire, and that it's just about impossible, he said, to have this happen because of this. But the one wire was hooked up to this church. So um, so they, they redid our modem and rebooted it on their end and we got started on this end and so then they refer me to another guy to make up the report 
so I get talking to him about it and I said so how unusual is this and he says well where where are you from and I told him you know in Northwest Ohio he says that they're having a great deal of this problem in Ohio not in other places in the United States but he said in Ohio they're experiencing this quite a bit and he said the problem is is that they have not been able to get down to the bottom of why it's happening but um, he said they are they have teams of people working on it and uh, so go figure I don't know yeah lawyers and churches <laughs> so he did give me a reference number this time so that when we get in it'll kick us right to uh, the person um, when we give that reference number it'll go back and re that person will be able to review our history quick and it may not take us long and hopefully it won't happen again so I hope not alright so I had started to tell you guys or did you all get the information about um, about um, angel angel kisses I don't know how much of you guys you shared while I was off okay well so I'm just I'll just give you a brief a uh, brief story of what happened to uh, um, Angel Kisses. She actually had kind of a rough afternoon uh, or surgery time. A uh, cat's normal temperature is 101, 102. And uh, hers, when we would do surgeries here, if a cat's temperature would get down to 95, 96, I would just always, you know, get the heaters on, da 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 da. All of us would jump on board and get the cat warmed up. 95 96 we don't like it to get that low and then uh, today hers went clear down to 89 while they were on the table 89 when the when the doctor told me that it's like oh my gosh is she okay is she okay and she was okay they got her warmed up what happened was um, well they did the spay and her surgery well I think they did the spay let me check yep they did the spay and they did her hip. So, but when they when they opened up her flu her abdomen, she had a lot of, of fluid in there, and that's we don't like to see fluid like that in the belly. But the good thing is is that it was not a yellow golden straw color because that is a big indicator of FIP, the wet form of FIP. Hers was clear, so he thinks we're okay. And um, but her lymph nodes that's in the abdominal area were very enlarged now that might be a problem it may not but the uh, to me the obvious thinking on that is that they were big because of the the inflammatory response that they were having because of her injury so that's the way I'm going until I hear different um, but when you open up a tummy and there is a lot of fluid that's lost they can drop their blood pressure and that can also make them very chilled so anyhow they got her warmed up and uh, she then started recovering a little bit faster and uh, Steve went to get her and she, he said she was talking to him on the way home <laughs> and uh, right now she's already eaten two bowls of food so I don't think we'll give her any more other than dry food for the night she's on two heaters right now and yeah they're going to do a biopsy yeah. of it uh, CJ and uh, we'll find out next week about that so the hip the two hip fractures will heal by themselves and then the femoral head that had to be removed it's kind of like the muscles grab or build around it and it's just an awesome thing that they've they've been able to do with these cats and it will move and uh, be able to be mobile just like the other one there might be a little bit of a limp but we're I think she's going to be doing really well she's she's a little sleepy her third eyelids are still up her um, right leg her right rear leg is a, she I saw her put full pressure on it but her her left leg the one that's hurt the worst tends to get kind of stuck behind that one so it's kind of a little odd shaped one yet though but gosh she's only been out of surgery a few hours so we're going to give her days and days to recuperate and I think she's going to be great cats are awesome if you want anything like this to happen to either a cat or a dog 
always go for the cat because the cat, <coughs> their bones just have a magical way of healing. So I think we're going to be okay. The other thing that happened today was we got um, we got a new cat in. His name is Aro. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Rory. Rory. R O R Y. And uh, this, the funny thing about this was um, last weekend, Jenny, who takes some of our pictures, and Jody that just left, were uh, they found a kitty at the Eagles Club, and so they went and got one of our traps with our. We have information on our traps that were uh, the person who said it is trying to catch a feral or stray cat and to call this number if there's a problem, which is our number here. And uh, but they couldn't catch the cat, so all week long, for a whole week now, they've been trying to trap this cat. I didn't realize they were still tra trying to trap the cat or exactly where they were doing it at. So I get a call today from the fire department that's connected with our police department there, and they said that there was a trap in their uh, radio tower by their radio tower, and that there's a cat in it, and nobody had been there yet to uh, to collect it. So I called him back and talked to him, said that we'll be right up to get it. And on my way there, apparently Jenny got on the cam here and the chatters told her where I was going. So she called me and she said, that's got to be their trap. Well, it turned out it was. It was the trap that Jody and, Jen, Jody and uh, Jenny's been setting all week and the cat finally went in. So it's a beautiful cat. You know, like this cat here, these cats that's in here are domestic short hair. This cat that we trapped is an, an American short hair. And uh, golly, he's just beautiful. He's got like the, the butterfly markings on the side. It's a little bit different than a marble tiger, but it's got the beautiful uh, markings on it. And there's Angel Kisses sitting up looking at me again. So his name is Rory. He's... Uh, I think I put him down as, I don't know, six or eight months, one or the other. But uh, he's really not too afraid. You can hold him and cuddle. He likes to to push into you and be petted and to have his his ears rubbed and he purrs. So hopefully we'll, we'll do just fine with him. Uh, let me see here. He's going tomorrow. He, the, his family came to adopt him today. But because his little hiney is a little sore, did you see how red he looks like a red baboon back there? Oh, it's a lot better. We've been working on it all day. Uh, they wanted to wait one more uh, night before they pick him up. So they'll be here tomorrow morning. And then <clears throat> Val will be here tomorrow to possibly adopt Dickens. And uh, what else is going on? Can you show the cam extension cord? Oh, to show you Angel. Yeah, let me see if we can we can do that. Let's try that extension cord. Okay. I I see them online. Did you? I saw one online, I think it's thirty five dead or yeah. Well and you see, this held 20 cards, but we were out of them. So I just went, just. The meaning to do this days ago, but never did it. Butter, butter, what do you want? You gonna smile for him, Angel Kisses? Okay, hang on a few here.
Yes. Have mobility. This is cool. Eric says he saw one of these extension ones that was 35 feet. Here's your girl. Okay, I'm going to set it here so I don't wiggle it around so much. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people watching you, Angel Kisses. She says it'd be alright if you gave me some more food. She's just a little girl. She's been sore for a while. Yeah, she is. Want to show them your whole hip area? Hmm. There, you can see it. Yeah, she got owie all right. But look at this. There's just no muscle here. It's just so skinny mini. You smell like medicine. <laughs> And after we had you all cleaned up. Yeah, it looks like a chicken leg. Did you hear that? Say, you just wait. Someday I'm going to have a big old muscle leg. Yeah, she's she's actually half of a half of a sphinx, kitty. She will. She's a toughie. She's going to heal just fine. Yeah. All right. You want to say night night to him? Huh? You want to say night night? Oh, be careful. Oh no! Oh, the days. All right. It's time for you. Yeah. Oh, all right. One more second. She doesn't want me to quit pitting her. <laughs> yes. If she wants to walk in on it, she can, as long as she's in her pen and not. Hopping around like what a Bayos would be doing. She's probably still kind of groggy. Yeah, yep. She, oh, look at her. She's so happy. You know, in all reality, I'm going to bet she has less pain right now than what she did yesterday because of the way that that femoral head was rubbing into that um, fractured pelvis area. That was probably some pain like similar to arthritis or something. Yeah, the grating. Oh, all right. Now you got a little. Take a little nappy poo. Yep. I'll get you your medicine before I go in. There's Patty. Yeah, I'll put a. I'll put um. Miss, I've been calling her Miss V in there. I'll show you around a little bit. Or, uh oh, here real quick before she runs away. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, hey. hi, Snoozles. <laughs> that Snoozles is a nice little kitty. No, but you know what I do before I go to bed, like in a case like this, is I I will put um, a tape on that. Now, see that yellow ducky? Look how bright that thing is. It just shines on this cam. That's uh, Bella. Aww. That's Bella sleeping. Aren't you just the cutest little thing? Yeah. There are snoozles. No, snuzzles. Snuzzles. She, she is a lover bugger. And oh, I was going to show you, but I guess I better not. And there's there's your buddy. There's the big old sheriff. Isn't he about the most handsome cat ever? <laughs> Putter baby. And there's Preakness. Preakness, kitty, kitty. Hi. Oh, come here, Tweeny. Maybe your mommy's on. Tweeny, come on. Kitty, 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 come on. I see you. There's Tweeny. Oh, Tweeny. You. <laughs> and there goes Tweeny. As she saunters by. And there's Farah. 
kind of nice having a little bit of leash here. There's the buddy boy Kilo. And then over there on the tree leaf, can you see Patty? His, not only are his teeth hanging out, but also his tongue is hanging out. And let me see what's... Eric, since you're here, can you tell me if I'm pointing in the right direction mm -hmm. to anybody? There's... Oh, is Val on? Can you see the green bench there, Eric? Yeah. Okay. There's... Uh, that's Cyrilla and uh, Dickens. D. Dickens. And then there's the big red poof that usually Bella's on. And then the back there is the is the paw print one. This is the office we were all squished in for that whole week. And up there, can, I'm not sure. Can you see Eric? Where at? Badu and uh, Gramanique. You're gonna have to aim up a little higher, I believe. There you go. Gramanique is back there. And, uh, Badu, kitty, 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 kitty. Up a little more. That good? Yeah. Kitty, 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 Badu. Badu says you can look at this side. There she is. Badu. Kitty, 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 kitty. Can you see her, Eric? Yeah. Isn't she pretty? And then, oh.